find a want and then do what is needed to achieve that want. Mm. So in anything in life, you go, okay, I want that. Okay, good. You sit down and say, okay, what, what is needed to get there? Yeah. Now, my belief is this, in today's world of information, we, we shouldn't be saying, I didn't really know what to do. <laughs> we, 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 sh we shouldn't. You want to lose weight? There are countless, countless, countless weight loss for you, weight loss sites that you can go to. Everywhere. Pick one. Everywhere. Pick one. Yeah. And then stick to it. Yeah. Pick one, stick to it and see what happens. Don't try and drive to, it. Don't try to do all five. Don't try to do all five. Don't try to become the master of friggin' health in three weeks <laughs> and learn everything there is. Just stick to it. I, and it's, it's, I, I, I honestly believe it's the same in business. Find something that works, that someone else has done, or that you've done in the past, that another business owner has done, take their advice and apply it. Mm -hmm. And do what they, what they did. Do what they did that allowed them to create what they created. You know, it says, do what is needed, not do what you want to do, do what mm -hmm. you feel like doing, do what makes you happy, do what you like, do what is, do what is needed. So, so, so I think that's a lot of times where people get lost, is they don't do what's needed. Mm -hmm. You know, I have people, no, but I don't want to do that. Okay, well, good, well, don't do it then. <laughs> no, but I want to have that result. Well, that's the only way I know it. So, so when I'm coaching mm -hmm. people, teaching people, training mm -hmm. people, I sit there and say, this is how I did it. This is, in my experience, this is what I learned from, from these guys. This is what they created. I, I did this. I applied this. I tweaked it and changed it over a period of time once I created experience. But this is what I did. So if you go out and do it, you know, it's like, it's like this, this, the sales cycle. Yeah. I have a six-step sales cycle. I've had a six-step sales cycle for 30 years I've been selling. The, the content of what happens in there changes, but the cycle, the process is very is, is exactly the same. I know right now if uh, if I launch a new program today, well, the very first step I start at step one of the cycle. In fact, I start it before step one of the cycle. I create the product and the offer. Mm -hmm. So I'm very clear that this is the product. This is what I'm going to sell. This is what I'm going to sell it for. Yep. Then I go, okay, cool. Then I start at step one. Step one is target market. Who's my friggin' target market? Who's going to buy this program? Mm -hmm. Boom. Then I go. Who's my target market? And I make a list of people on the, that I think, who I know, who I connect, who I don't know, who I need to get to know, da 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 da, who fit the avatar, or who fit my target market. And guess what I do? I then decide how am I going to get hold of them? And that step, step two is now connect. How am I going to connect with them? Once I've connected with them, how am I going to pitch to them? Once I've pit pitched to them, what objections do I expect to come up? How am I going to handle those objections? What's the offer I'm going to make them? How am I going to close? And then, and then I deliver and then keep them in my world. It's, d does that make sense? Yeah. And then what I do is I make that list and I go, I go out to that list and I do it again and again and again and again and again. Mm. And the right people looking for me in the right time will buy. Mm. So, so what, what happens is, it, it, so go back to your question, do people know what to do? Sometimes I think maybe they don't, but then find someone who does, ask them the questions,